guys welcome back to my studio so today i am getting ready for another wedding i have a wedding on saturday and then i have a quinceanera on sunday and then i also plan on depotting my foundations today if i don't get it done today then i need to do it this time this week just because i i just have the packages already here like the little containers and i just am so excited to depot them into the new ones um but I just got here and I'm gonna quickly do my touch-up kits because those are what I give my clients. If you're new here, I always give my clients a touch-up kit and I put the sponge and the puff that I use on them in the bag, a little bit of powder, a little bit of lip gloss, lipstick, blotting sheets, a little, um, when they cry, a tissue, <laughs> and my business card and a makeup remover wipe, and of course, a little mint. I love these mints. I got them off of Amazon. I'm actually watching, let me show you. I'm actually watching Julie Ruby on YouTube. If you guys don't subscribe to her and you're a makeup artist, really recommend her channel. I am a huge fan of Julie Ruby. Sometimes I'll comment on her videos and then she'll like comment back. <laughs> but yeah, she um, just launched this video called 10 things I wish I knew before becoming a makeup artist, which is like, I relate to everything she's saying just because people don't think this is a real job and everything she's saying, it's like, oh, like, you know, just like, I just get it. A lot of people are super nervous to start because they're just like, I don't know how to do this. I'm not really sure if my skills are this hard. With makeup artistry, you have to practice. And if you don't practice on people, you're not going to get better. So I finished my touch-up kits for both my parties for the wedding and for the quinceanera I have them over here and then now it's like the dreadful part now I'm gonna have to see how I can smoothly transfer all of it to these containers here um, I have all the foundations here on the side in case I can't take all of it out of here unfortunately I feel like that's gonna be the case for some of these but I don't know we'll see if this will work out it's kind of sad though because I really thought like some of these did work for this one it's a thicker foundation so it wasn't squirting out like when I would use the light reflecting by NARS did not work in these containers because it was so liquidy that I would have to literally unscrew and like pour onto my palette i know i might get some comments like oh you should just leave like the ones that work in the container so you're not wasting i don't know if i want them to all look different or maybe i could just leave the ones that work so i know like the difference of like what foundations and what i don't know we'll see we'll see okay guys so i think i found the way to like make this the less messiest as possible i can't squeeze them out in here because it literally just squirts barely anything in here that's why i really never liked these with this foundation the light reflecting i'm gonna literally pour it into here i try to use a funnel but the funnel got too annoying to clean up so i'm literally just pouring it into here let me show you guys like more down here okay i just found like this is the only way i think i could do it unfortunately i can't take it all out even if i get like a little spatula it is just too messy and me estoy estresando más, so just doing this, I think, will do. Okay, I think that's it. That's all I'm gonna get out. And then I'm gonna cover it up with this little nozzle. Make sure it clicks in. Oh my gosh, why is this so hard? Oh, snap. <laughs> You know what these remind me of? They remind me of the caps from like Los Gusanitos de Lucas. Kind of like that. Okay, there you go. It popped in. I just thought about like when I have to refill these, it's going to be a little bit of a hassle. Hopefully not. And then la tapadera is like a screw. So you're going to have to like press down and then screw up and it comes out. So it's very secure. And then I'm going to make the label. My trusty little label from Amazon. My mom got me this as a gift and it's come in handy. And you just go onto your phone and there's like an app for it called the Nimbot. And I literally just print it out through Bluetooth. So the shade is... Yeah. Cut it out like in a little circle. And put it in the bottom. I plan on putting these down like this in my kit so I can see the color and the names. So here are all the other ones I've done so far. I'm really excited. Hopefully this works better for me. Look how cute. 
Guys, I wanted to show you. This is how inconsistent these bottles are. This one is the NARS Longwear Radiant. And it's actually pumping. Not like the other ones where it was like squirting into it. Like this one's actually going up. And it's letting me go like from here to here without dipping like this. It's kind of sad because I wish it was like that easy with the other ones. You guys, legit, not kidding. I think it's been three hours. It took me to try to depot all these into here. They just look so nice. I'm excited to see them in my kit. Let me just put them in so you guys can see the final result. Okay, so here are all the foundations. Now I can finally see like the tones of each one more clearly. Yeah, I'm really excited about this, guys. It's a good feeling about this. Guys, quickly before I leave my studio, I want to show you guys that my mom helps me put on curtains that are like longer because I used to have curtains, but they were shorter and they look so good. It makes the salon, the studio looks so much more complete with them. Hey, mom, you scared me. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so we have one colgando de la cocina para que ya no veas adentro de la casa. Her laughing still. It looks like more private in here. And they're like from the ceiling to the floor. Very nice. I must say so. Hi guys. Oh, let's so zoom in. Okay, so I just got home and I have a little time in my on my hands. In my hands. On my hands. And I want to do this look that I saw actually on Sephora. She was wearing this look for the um, Natasha Denona palette, which I really want to get. I'm planning on getting it for the sale that's coming up in late october early november but i want to recreate this so bad i feel like even though i don't have the palette i have the tones so i'm really excited i haven't played with makeup like this in a while i really want to like do something creative so i'm gonna try to recreate the look and yeah let's see how it goes but this reminds me like when i do things like this it reminds me of like when i was in high school and i would like just play with makeup before i showered and, and like listen to music it's very therapeutic for me it's a good way to learn how to do eyeshadow i always get asked how do you do learn and all this it's literally by doing these type of nights where i just play with makeup and then i shower it all off and nada pasa todo todo bien <laughs> it's like my therapy for me for sure <laughs> Okay guys, so I took out my Glamcore light because I think I want to post this, so I need good lighting. Um, so this is how it turned out. It's um, very, very pretty. I only put half a lash because I feel like I want the um, I want the eyeshadow to shine through and I don't want the lashes to be like, oh, the main focus, right? So I only did half lash. So I'm going to try to recreate it on this eye and try to post it and try to do like a tutorial. I don't know. We'll see. And don't mind this, I literally was swatching different foundations. <laughs> so that's why this part is kind of yellow. Um, I'm going to take it off. Don't worry. Alrighty, I finished the look. I took a lot of pictures, videos. I'm going to see if I like the videos and make it into a reel, perhaps. If I like the footage. But I really like the eyes. I think the rhinestones really make the look. I did cake on a lot of makeup, like on my face. I barely did anything with my eyebrows. I just pressed them onto my face with soap. Mm. I don't know if I could wear this much makeup to like an event though, guys, because like it feels like I have makeup on and I don't like it when I feel like I have cakey makeup on. You guys let me know if you like it. I really love the rhinestones though, like that's my favorite part. Good morning, everyone. So it has been a couple days later. Today is Saturday and I'm on the way. Well, I'm going to get on the way for a wedding that I have in Birmingham. It's like an hour and so minutes from my house. It's a later start time. Her wedding doesn't start till like, I think like three or four probably because she has to be ready by 2.30. So she doesn't have too many, it's five girls. Our start time is at 10, but I already told them I would be there a little bit earlier so I could set up. So that's why I'm leaving like a little early um, compared to what I thought. I'm already used to leaving like when it's not light outside, so it feels kind of late. I would already be starting makeup on someone, but um, today's day is a little bit more or later. And I made myself for breakfast today, I made a little bit of oatmeal, like overnight oats, but it was too sweet. So I only ate like a couple spoons of that, maybe like 10 spoonfuls of that, and then I was just like, eh. And then I left it and I made myself, well this is my water, but I have another Yeti filled with uh, 
chamomile yeah it's chamomile tea and I put honey in it so it's not coffee but it's still something that makes me warm it's a little chilly today it's 56 I'm letting my car warm warm up I'm always scared like my dad always tells me like don't let the car like if it's cold outside make sure you let the car run a little bit before you leave because the engine blah 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 blah, blah. I don't know I don't know anything about cars so okay I'm gonna get on the road I was actually listening to Disney music in the morning because it made me feel happy so I might do that I did that because my sister was like oh we listen to Disney music sometimes and we're like making cupcakes and I'm like oh I should do that to like put myself in a happy mood so yeah I'll give you guys an update when I can Alrighty guys, so I just left the bride's house and now I'm going home and these houses are beautiful here. She's actually getting married at her own house. Uh, that's awesome that you could even do that. <laughs> I could never have, like, have a wedding in my pool. No, but um, I'm gonna go home now. My battery is dying, so I'll see y'all later. Alright guys, so I just finished cleaning everything up and setting everything up for tomorrow's quinceanera because it's gonna be um, six girls tomorrow. So I packed everything and I'm ready to go to my house.